How is it going, Danimal Nation? My name is Dan, and today we have a... What? A Let's Play? A Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, you say? Yes, here we Bob, guys. Uh, I just discovered this emulator a couple days ago. And I am loving this thing, dude. I get to play all the games I used to play on my Game Boy Advance and that Game Boy SP, all that kind of crap, but... It's been so long since I played these games, and I lost all of them. I don't know where they went. They just pulled a Houdini on my ass, and I don't know where they went. But now I find this emulator, and I can play Pokemon Emerald. I can play every Pokemon game on the Game Boy Advance. I can play Mega Man Battle Network, and I'm just having a blast. All this nostalgia coming at my face. And yes, here we are. You know, why not do a Pokemon Emerald Let's Play? I just feel like this would be a pretty fun series to do. And here we have the longest... You know, part of the whole game, the freaking intro that teach you about like how humans and Pokemon are friends with each other and how we will always band together. But when you really think about it, Pokemon is really dogfighting. I mean, you run around with these creatures that just fight each other, man. That's all they do. They just fight each other. And people walk up to you, say, hey, you want to battle? And they go ahead and like just fight each other to the death basically and whoever wins gets money so <laughs> basically it is dog fighting and yes what's your name let's keep it simple just just say Dan why not and I plan on doing something kind of kind of cool kind of something kind of silly I plan to name my Pokemon after uh, some of my YouTube buddies so I'll be sure to put down all their YouTube channels down below once you know I catch their, them or whatever and I find like that's gonna be kind of funny and fun to do. So finally we get to play the damn game. Are you ready? And they talk so slow. I really want to change this text to like fast. Friendship and adventure. My little pony. That's what it sounds like right now. And look how unsafe this is. I'm in a moving truck while it's moving. In the back. All these boxes in French can kill my ass any moment. Where the hell is child services at? Come on, baby. Yes, we move out. We are here! Where's my mother? There she is. Dan, we're here, honey. This is, this is how they talk right now. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Oh my god. Says the chick who rode in the front all safe and sound. What's wrong with you? Let's go inside. Damn. Look at all these. Uh, I forgot what these are called. It's been a while since I played Pokemon. It just really has been, man. The movie's Pokemon. Can I just go ahead and just like... Can you talk any faster? Oh, oh, dad? Dad? If you don't notice too, in like every Pokemon game, you don't have a dad. I always had like this, like, uh, this theory where your dad was like a drunk alcoholic and he always abused your mother and he just ended up leaving you and going to jail. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like, you never see your dad! You never see your dad in Pokemon games. It's like, do you, do you even have one? And what time is it right now? It's like one. 25. Leave it right there. Who cares? But yeah, we set the clock. Mom comes in. She is nagging the hell out of us. The room looks super bland. I have nothing in here. I have a crappy ass stern definition TV. Um, the bed's okay. I got a GameCube though. Ripping that Nintendo. Come, Dan, quickly. Look, it's Pity Brick Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. Nerp, because you don't have a dad. It's all a lie. You're lying to me, Mom. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, why not do that? Let's go. But yes, man, this emulator is freaking awesome. I'll link it down below also if you guys want to play some old school Pokemon games. And just relive all the nostalgia hitting you right in the face. And hello, and you are? Oh, you're Dan, our new next door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Ooh, trying to hook me up already, Mom? Okay. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. You think? But that's terrible. You should know what your daughter is, you know, exactly 100% of the time. And finally, they don't have to talk like they're freaking retarded. Yes. Yes. Da -da -da, still the Pokeball Team Rocket style. Uh, who are you? Oh, you're Dan. So your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I had this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Dan, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Dan, and we could be friends. This is where you cue in like the Barry White music. <laughs> oh, this is silly, isn't it? I just met you, Dan. <laughs> What's up with that? Oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Dan, I'll catch you later. 
Alright, later, baby. Moving on now. That's our cue to go into the wild and get mauled by evil zigzagoons. Yeah! So, how you doing, little girl? Um, hi, there are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's going on for me? So, forever she is stuck in this little town. I feel sorry for her. These guys getting chased. Okay, can we stop standing there and actually help them out? You over there, please. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Oh, no. Let's go with Torchic. So, I heard you like Mudkips. Uh, the first time I played this game, I actually picked Trico and got my Skeptile. But I was also, I was always jelly of people who picked Torchic because that Blaze again was just on fire, man. I love that Blaze again. And I feel like it's time for me to have one now. Although Mudkip is also pretty cool. But, you know, I gotta say my favorite starter Pokemon in every game has to be Fire. I mean, their final evolutions are always awesome and kick-ass. And, you know, I just love it. But Zigzagoon gets raped. Get owned, bitch. Coming through with the 17 experience points. This guy's saved. You can't even kick a Zigzagoon in the face. That's all you have to do, really. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Dan. It's not the place to chat. So come to my Pokemon lab later today, okay? So, Dan, I heard much about you from your father. I heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plume. How is a 10-year-old supposed to know what a plume means? I don't know. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes, as thanks for rescuing me, i like to have the po- Oh, sh I can't even talk right now. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Dan received the Torchic. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Torchic? Yeah, why not? Make it original. So here is going to be the first YouTuber slash friend I will mention today. It's going to be God's Teachings, a.k.a. Daryl. Daryl the Torchic. Yes. Sounds pretty epic. And don't worry, all of my YouTube brethren, I will be using your names as well. So don't feel left out. I mean, I will catch new Pokemon. It's a female, too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I named the female Torchic Daryl. Oh, my God. Wow. Whatever. Okay, guys, that's it for now. We chose our first Pokemon. Next time, we're going to go make love to May. And yes, hopefully you enjoy the video. My name is Dan. I love you all.